Hey, I'm Ray. I guess the guys over there want me to go over the process of what we do when we refurbish something around here. So we have a ton of these monitors over here. Some of them are pretty low price. Obviously these are all used, but they're all still pretty good quality, like stream wise. What we have here is a Dell P2715Q. I think there's also some 2715QTs mixed in. Uh, from what I looked up, they're essentially the same thing. I think it just, it's either a refresh or just changes where the manufacturing comes from. And cosmetically, you'll get something like this. It's like, no way around it. But 4K resolution, nightbiss panel at six hertz. So pretty ideal for office work. Uh, gaming, probably not, but. So like I said earlier, all of our grading is gonna be based just on the screen quality itself. And pretty much I'll be in the listing, but we'll say in the description pretty much what's wrong with it. So I can go over each thing. So an A grade is pretty much blemish free, or at worst it does have scratches that are visible, but you know, when you actually turn it on and have an image on it and it's actually lit up, you can't see it at all. Looking at this, this is obviously not angry. There's a half foot scratch going right across the center of the screen. When I turn it on, if it like goes away, I mean, it might go into the B, but I can really tell this is B at best. So, reiterate, A grade, pretty much perfect. Or when it's actually on, it's virtually perfect. So for a B grade, actually need to turn this thing on. Since we're going through so many of these, I've had this testing station here for no, who knows how long. Power cable, HDMI, a laptop over here for just recording, stuff, recording the actual quality of each of these. Speaking of which, I actually need to do this for Okay, every single thing that goes through here needs to be audited and recorded. You know. In case something happens, we can actually track it out later. Actually, that scratch is pretty hard to see against white. If you're looking at straight on normal viewing angle, it's pretty good. Pretty much just Google, you know, dead pixel check. This lets us pretty much look at the screen through just pretty much solid colors. It's very, it's a very good way just by like quickly checking if something's wrong with the screen. So like I said, when it's off or black, I don't know if it comes on the camera, that scratch is pretty obvious from like here to here. Except when we look at straight on with anything that isn't black, it's actually pretty decent. So that could almost pass as a B. Now that we're here, key differences between the A and the B. Everybody said A is flawless, almost. Uh, B grade is whenever there are screen issues that you can actually see when it's on. So that scratch, unfortunately, I can still see it. Uh, that makes it a B. Between a B and a C is actually if there's any screen damage like dead pixels, which actually now that I'm in the middle of this, I can see. Very, very minor. Yeah. So there's like small clustering of dead pixels in this corner right here. It actually drops it down to a C grade. Which kind of sucks. So it's starting out pretty well. Also dead pixels over here. Definitely dead pixels, not dirt. <laughs> so yeah, normally we have an assembly line of when we're cleaning right now, but since it's just me, um, pretty much after it's been audited, just give it a quick rundown. Um, we're touching the screen, just water a little bit. If there's any actual dirt or like fingerprints or something, you need to use a little bit of soap water, but nothing more than that. Any other cleaning solution is gonna actually probably mess up the screen more. Different rag, and just a little isopropyl. Uh, luckily there aren't any stickers or anything, or tape, since these obviously come used. Uh, they come from somewhere else, and I find some pretty fun stickers sometimes. And by fun, I mean so many that you're spending about five minutes just trying to get rid of them, which is cool, I guess. I mean, that's the most we're gonna get out of this. This one's actually kind of nice, it's just lightly dusted. Nothing caked on. So after it's done here, it actually would go behind you. There's a table over there that's just full of stands. There's one guy over there that's just pretty much cleaning them up. They get uh, combined together and then we put them in the box and box it up and then just get it on the shelf. So what this comes down to is why would you actually buy a used monitor from us? Well, looking at the Amazon page, uh, for a brand new version of this, uh, the first available is over 600 bucks. Neat. If you buy it from us, um, Remember why I said A grade, B grade, C grade. A grades go for about 250, B grades for 200, and C grades for 150. Even for like our best quality one, it's like a $400 difference almost. So why buy from us then? 
Everything that leaves the warehouse is tested by us, checked for defects, clean. You're paying for a much cheaper price. You're getting what you pay for, no premium. And lastly, you have the peace of mind that's just gonna work. $400 difference. I mean, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Kyle, say the line. For more computer content, check out our YouTube channel. So I guess what that comes down to is why would you actually buy a used monitor from us? Freaking rare.